Welcome back, folks, to Fisher Planet for the top five uh, bait poles that I use. So they're not, this isn't necessarily my favorite. This is just what I use most. And it kind of goes hand in hand with favorite, I guess. But let's get started. This list will include uh, bottom rods, float poles, and carp, and feeders. So uh th that's all in one group you won't see all of them i don't really use feeder rods that often anymore and let's be honest they're the same as bottom rods outside of switching the top tip anyway with that being said got a couple honorable mentions the only carp setup on here because i generally don't use them too often is the deep horizon um for obvious reasons for a lot of you guys that carp fish or oversized fish you know that the Bigger bottom rods work a lot better for weeping willows and a lot of places that you would fish carp. For example, San Joaquin, uh, Russia, Germany, uh, you know, any of them carp places, uh, you would normally use these carp poles. You can use bottom rods and pretty much have more success. Now, number six, I could not leave off the list. Uh, let's see, Fish Plan's been out since 2015, so any of you old-timers like me, uh, who started way back in the day, uh, yeah, I can't believe it's getting ready to go on eight year, eight, nine years now. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, this used to be the king of the bait poles. I don't use it as uh, much often now, that's why it's an honorable mention, not in the top five, but... This is one of them poles that, this was the, the, the best bait pole in the game for a long time. Um, for those of you guys that started after, well, I think, 2017 or 18, before they started adding more poles in. Um, so, had to have it on there for nostalgia. That being said, here's our top five. The Equ or the uh, Spell Launcher 11.5, and I know what some people are saying, the Ecuador is stronger than this right now and yes it is but i have a tendency because these are the similar size i actually have a tendency to use a spell launcher a little bit more i think as more bigger fish come out i probably will use the ecuador match more uh, but for right now it, the spell launcher i generally use a little bit more with especially with the wagner waggler so i can get some more casting distance on it and at number four, the Makanzi. Um, the bottom rods are a more universal pole within the game. Um, and in what in what do I mean by that? So, you are you going to take a full pole to Russia? Yeah, it doesn't work too well, right? So. Bottom rods work whether there's a current or there's not a current. Yes, they move some, but generally, uh, bottom rods are a better go-to, and that hurts because I used to be more of a float person than bottom rods, but the it just turns out that bottom rods like to stay in current better, and you can still use them at the other places. So um, this is what I have a tendency to use, and being that it's the biggest one, I use it quite a bit, um, you know, not as much as the others on the list, but still quite a bit. With that being said, the last full pole on our list is actually the Phoenix. I use this. This is the most used full setup I have. I use it a lot of places. Um, pretty good balance to it, and not much to say. It just you can use it anywhere from. Uh, Lone Star to, I mean, all the way to Michigan or even farther if you want. Um, you'll have some fights on your hands, but you'll have some fun too. This is a new one that you asked me two years ago, I wouldn't have even had on the list. And as I got better at the game, and uh, uh, especially with bait poles, recovery is king. Um, and I find myself using the cat boxer with the spod uh, quite a bit. Uh, this it, it was almost I almost had this number one to be honest with you guys. I I use this so often now. It's just a re I don't even know. A lot of times when I go to a lake, I it, I just have two of them with me. So if you guys don't know, my normal setup is one through three. I, I have the three lure poles. The 
jig winner, uh, the Zeus, and the Nile Chaser, just so I can cover throwing anything that in my bag. And then my four through seven are always bait poles. Well, a lot of times, four and five end up being uh, in my slots, end up being this cat boxer now. Just no matter where I go, I use them at the Congo a lot. I use them wherever I go. They're just super handy. It was really hard for my not to put this number one. And I, you know, two years ago, I don't even think I used cat. Three years ago, I probably didn't even use cat boxers. Uh, with that being said, number one is the Big Ali. I think a lot of people will agree with me that this is probably the most handy bait pole in the game. You use it pretty much everywhere. This is another one that, you know, you have with all the time. Um, with that being said, guys, let me know what your favorite bait poles are down in the comments. You guys know I love hearing what you guys have to say on these opinion videos like this. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite one is. Maybe let me know which one you were surprised about. Um, if I went back three years in time, I don't think these cat boxes, I would ever even thought about them. So, But anyway, let me know down in the comments. Hopefully you have an amazing day, and we'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.